Hey guys, what's going on? So today's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna teach you how to take this resin casted olive wood piece and we're gonna get it to a glass-like surface. I'll take you through the sanding steps all the way up to 8,000 and the right compounds and pads and the polishing process. And we're gonna get it smooth as butter. Before we get started, here's everything that you're gonna need. I will list and link everything in the bio below. But essentially we're taking it from the lowest grit all the way up to 8,000. The three pads, wool pad, black pad, blue pad, polishing compounds, the DA buffer, the sander. I use a Mercadiros. You're gonna need some water and then some microfiber cloths and then some handy dandy shop towels. Go through each grit. And then once we get to about 320, we're gonna start the wet sanding process. Okay, for this first step, we're gonna hit it with the 100 grit. And between each grit, it's very important that you wipe down any excess residue that's left on the surface. It'll help prevent pigtails as you go through all of the grit process. Something really important when you're sanding to get a glass-like surface is to make sure that you do a crosshatch as you just saw. So I'll go around in a circle and then I'll go back and do a crosshatch left to right and then up and down. That ensures you get all of the surface evenly and to keep it as flat as possible. Okay, a little peek. We're stopped at 1000 grit. We started wet sanding at 320. I wanted to give you a, kind of a close up of where we're at now. We got a decent sheen. We got a long ways to go. Okay, first step, number one, wool pad. Shake it up really good. What I like to do, this is a small enough area, so we're gonna do the whole thing at once. Remember, a little goes a long way. And you can do this one or two ways. I like to use um, my fingers, just kind of spread it around. Sir. And you're probably gonna have to do this first step a couple times. Blue shot wrap comes handy. Okay, take your buffer, help spread out. Start on a low speed. And make sure you're doing the same cross hatch motion. Just finished up with the second pass with step one, and I'm running about 2200 RPMs. They recommend up to about 2000, but I find that to get all the pigtails and swirl marks out a little bit faster helps. Just got to make sure you move it around quite a bit. Okay, step one is complete with the wool pad. We've got a great sheen. This obviously was a mess up as far as a pour goes. There's a lot of micro bubbles, but this video is about polishing. And we've got just two more steps before it's 
glass like. Okay, step two, 3M's perfect it with the uh, black pad right there. Like I said before, a little goes a long way. We'll do about that. Same thing with the wool pad. I have reduced the RPMs down to about 1400. Um, you definitely don't want to create as much heat with the black pad because you're not really cutting, you're moving on to the machine polish. Start slow and get it spread out. Last step, uh, we use Wizard Shine Master. It's a polish and also a sealant. And we use that with the light blue pad uh, from 3M as well. Uh, make sure you shake this stuff up really, really good. Um, apply not a ton, a lot less than actually one and two. A, a little goes a really long way with this stuff. Smells really good too. Okay, same thing. And this one we're gonna do about 800 RPMs. measure. Okay, here's the final product. And you can see how this was a, a failure. All of the micro bubbles. I don't know if you can see those. So you can imagine if those weren't there, how clear this would look. But the actual surface is definitely uh, polished up real nice. We have a glass like appearance guys thanks for watching so much I truly appreciate it if you made it this far props to you uh, I wanted to go over a couple of things this finishing process isn't just uh, used for epoxy I've used it for plexiglass a 2k urethane automotive finish conversion varnish and uh, even raw wood it's a very universal way to apply this process to a multitude of finishes so if you have any questions drop them below I'd be happy to answer any of them for you until next video get out there and make something cheers